morning. We welcome you to church this morning, and our intention this morning is for Ben Anderson. Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And my dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest St. John Bosco as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with the report. The children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said to all his servants who were with him in Jerusalem, Up, let us take flight, or none of us will escape from Absalom. Leave quickly, lest he hurry and overtake us, then visit disaster upon us, and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount of Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered, and he was walking barefoot. All those who were with him also had their heads covered and were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Bahurim, a man named Shammai, the son of Gera, of the same clan as Saul's family, was coming out of the place, cursing as he came. He threw stones at David and at all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and on his left. Shammai was saying as he cursed, Away, away, you murderous and wicked man. The Lord has requited you for all the bloodshed in the family of Saul, in whose stead you became king. And the Lord has given over the kingdom to your son Absalom, and now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abishai, son of Zeruhai, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, please, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business is it of mine or of yours, son of Zeruhai, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David. Who then will dare to say, why are you doing this? Then the king said to Abishai and to all his servants, If my own son, who came forth from my loins, is seeking my life, how much more might this Benjamite do so? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and make it up to me with benefits for the curses he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road while Shammai kept abreast of them on the hillside, all the while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, Lord, rise rise up up and and save me. me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries. Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. Lord, Lord, rise rise up up and and save me. me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, Lord, rise rise up up and and save me. me. When I lie down and sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, Lord, rise rise up up and and save me. me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of Genezareth. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs, who had an unclean spirit, met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles smashed. And no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus, From a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us and he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from the territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about two thousand rushed down the steep bank into the sea. They were round. Swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And the people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there, clothed and in the sight and, and in right mind. And they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Diapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What did the swine do? They didn't do anything. Why were they punished? Why were they driven in to the river? Hundreds of them, the poor swine. 
But let us pause and reflect a little bit on a deeper meaning of the gospel. And a deeper meaning for me this morning is a type of prayer. Something perhaps you already do. But occasionally it's good to put down the formalized prayers like the Rosary, the Lord's Prayer, and other printed prayers. Put them aside for the moment. and Sit down in a comfortable chair. Take three nice deep breaths. Relax. And in your relaxation, open up and begin to pray a conversation with the Lord. Talk to him in a conversational tone. You may not have any response, but begin going in depth to the Lord, talking about your life, what's going on. By doing that, you begin to go deeper and deeper into yourself and you begin to see if there are any demons, as the gospel is talking about, that you have, that we have. And maybe all of us have some type of demon that we want to look at and examine. But we have to talk about it openly. We have to express it. And we have to express it openly and honestly to the Lord, asking the Lord, help us to overcome this demon. Whatever the demon may be, it could be anxiety, could be depression, could be a disease, could be frustration, could be a hurt. Talking in depth to oneself with the Lord about that demon. What can I do? How can I overcome it? What do I have to do? Do I have to live with it? And how do I live with it? That is often the case when hurts happen in our lives. Not much we can do about the hurt. We begin to live with it. But we have to talk about it and examine it. And once we've finished doing all that conversation with the Lord, to thank the Lord for the graces that he's given to us, and to say, Lord, I want your help. Give me the strength to get the help and to use the help that you give me. Let us stand now as we offer up our prayers of the faithful. For the church that like the man freed from the evil spirits, she may proclaim with joy all the Lord has done for her, attracting others to experience his saving power, we pray. God, hear our prayer. That the humility and truth of King David may live in all rulers and heads of state, that they may see clearly that there are personal and national consequences of disobedience, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who freed the demoniac with authority, may again cast out from our families and our nation all dark forces which seek to wound and destroy, restoring all to grace and light, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be healed, the grieving consoled, the oppressed set free, and sinners converted through the power of this holy sacrifice. We pray especially for Joseph Dorsey, Josh Brown, Tom Harhai, Michael Kjellsberg, and those in our prayer list and book of intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have laid down in the sleep of death, that they may wake again in the sustaining power of the Lord, fully alive in his heavenly kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And I have two special intentions this morning. One is for my great-great-grandniece, who has a problem sleeping. Not that she can't sleep, it's that she sleeps too much. She falls asleep at any time during the day without any reason, and the doctors are looking into it. And also for a special friend, Kame, who is undergoing chemotherapy once again. I ask you to pray for them. Plus also to pray for the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. 
Almighty Father, we thank you for the gifts you have given to us. Awaken us up to these gifts, and we pray to you for the help that we need and for the assistance that will help us to grow in your love. And we pray this through Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar and commemoration of Blessed John Bosco, so that as you, as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as without end we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Christ. blessed is he who comes in the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. (coughs) 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. of Christ.
and let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high, and all who celebrate the feast day of blessed John Bosco, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation and trace for us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And go forth, the Mass is ended. What kind of a tree has a hand? A palm tree. Have a good day.